All of us at Berkeley were devastated by the loss of our undergraduate student, Tarishi Jane, who was among those killed by attackers who stormed a restaurant in Dhaka on July 1st, 2016. Tarishi had applied for an internship through the center because it gave her the opportunity to return to a country where she had spent eight years helping her to imagine how to bring together economics, industry, and social justice in her career and in Bangladesh. Former Chancellor Dirks wrote of Tarishi and her incredible impact at UC Berkeley and in the larger community. He wrote, in short, Tarishi Jane, at the age of 18, was already living a life of meaning and purpose, of dedication to the greater good, to helping others, to making the world a better place. By every measure, here was a life worthy of joyous celebration and profound respect, a bright, shining example of the hopes and dreams we have for young people in general and Berkeley students in particular. And yet, at this most difficult of times, we must also share an ongoing commitment to embrace and emulate all that Tarishi Jane exemplified and stood for. Compassion, tolerance, love, generosity, justice, empathy. For if words do not suffice, our actions and deeds as individuals and as a community will celebrate Tarishi Jane's life. We will try and give meaning to this tragic loss and push back against the darkness with the light shed by human kindness and love, as also with the kind of commitment and understanding that Tarishi lived to the full. The Live Life Like Tarishi Scholarship Award provides for a single grant of $2,000 to a UC Berkeley undergraduate student with a demonstrated commitment in the field of South Asian history, society, languages, and culture. The scholarship requires participants to submit an essay that demonstrates a desire to make a social impact in South Asia. We would like to thank Mr. Sanjeev and Mrs. Tulika Jain, Therishi's parents, for their generosity in establishing this scholarship. They have said in a statement, as a family, we believed in Therishi's dream of having a global impact, and we want to ensure that other students who want to make the same kind of change in the world will have the right resources to do so. That's why we are announcing the creation of Berkeley's, Berkeley's newest endowment, which will carry her name forward for the life of this university. Every year, a student with aspirations of being a global change maker will receive the Live Life Like Therishi Scholarship Award. It is our hope that these special students will carry the light forward on behalf of Therishi and all of those who have made a difference in the world. I would like to welcome Professor Alexander Rospat, Professor of Buddhist and South Asian Studies and Director of the Group in Buddhist Studies. Professor Rospat was Therishi's professor while she was here at Berkeley, and he will present this year's award. Professor Rospat. Thank you very much, uh, Sanchita. It's, um, of course, set uh, remembering that three years ago at this time, I wrote a recommendation letter for Tarishi to go to um, Dhaka. And um, after she was awarded uh, the fellowship by the Chowdhury Center, I remember she came to me overjoyed and she left for Bangladesh full of hope and enthusiasm and joy and then um, was killed in you know, the most brutal of circumstances. Um, we met together, her parents, more than once here on campus. And I think awarding this award to a wonderful student, Rimon Tanvir Hussein, who please come up, um, is a way of um, you know, starting to heal and make sense of a tragedy that basically is senseless. She was a wonderful student, a life uh, full of um, hope and full of aspiration. And the hope of this award, and I'm very happy that the award has been shifted to the Institute, is to find students who in many ways embody exactly that what um, inspired her and her studies. 
and um, I'm very happy that uh, we had a strong slate of applicants. It was not easy to choose, but we found uh, your essay particularly powerful, and we were very much taken by your dedication to use the funds for supporting a new gazette, the Bengal Gazette, that is meant to give a voice to the narratives and discussions of Bengali UC Berkeley students. So let me congratulate you on being a very worthy awardee. Thank you.